Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Justin Kolar. I am the traffic anchor for a TV station here in Indianapolis, Indiana, CBS4, and I graduated from New Era Christian way back in 2009. I want to thank you all personally so much for allowing me to speak with you all tonight. I wish so badly that I could be with you in person, but alas, work. You'd think that speeches would come easily for someone who talks and reads for a living, but I actually spent a lot of time gathering my thoughts and thinking about what exactly to say here, because when I was first asked by Phil Morse to speak on the positive impact this school has had on my life, the year was 2020. Do we all remember back that far? It seems that so much has changed since then, but my memories of this place, New York Christian, have remained a constant, a foundational cornerstone in my life, because I can honestly tell you, I would not be where I am, the man I am today, without the structure which was built right here. I've learned to lean on that base so many times throughout my young life already. And I can remember most clinging to my faith as rioters clashed with police in the streets of downtown Grand Rapids. As a reporter then with Wood TV 8, I was in the middle of it all. Through threat of violence and exhaustion still, I knew I was not alone. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God was with me and helped deliver me through that night. You know, the journey of my life has taken me many places already. I've met folks of all different walks of life and creeds as a journalist, but I can honestly tell you some of the most wholesome, kindest, biggest hearted folks are products of NECS and the foundation it builds continually right here. Now, speaking of foundation, I'd like to take just a moment to thank my mom and my grandma. They both sacrificed greatly to send both my sister and I to this school because that's what makes our small Christian school work. That dedication, that love and support that we receive not only from parents and grandparents, of course, the teachers, staff, and volunteers who bring this place to life every day. Let's take a second to give them all a round of applause that they so deserve. Yes, yes, you know, I'm just a boy from Muskegon. My family, they're the ones that decided I could be more, that I could achieve more. And they put me in this school after I struggled in the public school system for a time. They had faith and they sacrificed for me. Now as an adult, I can recognize the full extent of that commitment. It's not easy to send your child to a private school. It's expensive, we all know that, but I'm living proof that it does make a difference because this school is unlike any I've ever attended and I've been around. It's a safe place, place where your child can be a child. I attended public school for a brief time before NECS and I was uncomfortable there. 10 and 11 year olds swapping spit at school dances. It was all a lot to take when all I wanted to do was trade Pokemon cards, learn about Jesus and talk about life lessons that can only be taught right here. My principal, also my seventh and eighth grade teacher, Dave Wagner was another instrumental piece in building the foundation that I now firmly stand on today. In fact, I recently spoke to the man because his words spoken to me so many years ago now resonated in my heart. He told our whole class when we were likely 13 years old that the most important thing you can tell your wife when she walks down the aisle of your wedding, and I am a newly married man as of March 13th, and I told her exactly what he told me to say all those years ago, you are so beautiful. This school is beautiful too. It is also life-changing. God walks within these walls and my spiritual armor was form-fitted right here in New Era, Michigan. I can't share many specific memories with you that I have between these four walls, other than I'm pretty sure the reason the greenhouse isn't used any longer was because of a poorly aimed kickball off my foot, ultimately breaking some irreplaceable glass panes along the roof and portraying a poorly assembled Humpty Dumpty on this very stage that maybe shouldn't have put, been put back together again. But I can tell you here that I made friends, classmates and teachers alike that changed my life. Some of them that I still hold to this day. Those people were instrumental in my journey. They gave me faith and taught me how to treat others as I myself would like to be treated. In parting, I'd like to share my class verse with you all. Romans 12, verse two, you can see it hanging in the rafters along with my name in this room. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I didn't know it at the time, what exactly this verse meant or what it would ultimately come to mean in my life or in my profession. 
but there are always outside voices, voices telling you to do one thing or another, to grow a mustache or to shave it, where to be and when to tell the truth or to stretch it. It can be hard to remember your foundation, but I know where I came from and I'll leave you with this. Do not conform. Be true to your base because there will be tests. There always are, my friends. But God is faithful and his will is pleasing and it is perfect. There is no stronger foundation than a bedrock built in faith and roots planted firmly in the love of Christ right here in New Era Christian Schools. I love this school. It will always be my foundation. I thank you all so much for having me with you tonight. God bless you all and be sure to travel home safely. Until I see you again, I'm Justin Kolar.